What's up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingNudes.com, and welcome back to another week of our previews as we've kind of turned the page on the Kentucky Derby and on to more racing. And the big racing this weekend going to come Saturday at Belmont Park. They've got a very good card. 11 races are going to run on that Naira circuit there at Belmont. Let's go to race six um, for this preview. We're going to go to the Peter Pan Stakes, obviously a, a, usually a very popular race. Uh, if it doesn't produce a derby or excuse me, a Belmont runner it, it, or a winner, it does produce horses that do go on to do pretty well outside of, um, you know, the Triple Crown Series. So the Peter Pan Stakes, pretty good race this year as well. We're going a mile and an eighth here, a grade three event, $200,000 the purse here. Got a field of nine and I went all the way to the outside for my top pick. I'm not going to go against Bishop's Bay. I uh, heard a lot of good things about this horse before the debut. He ran very well. He won by three quarters of a length and he beat First Mission, a horse that's gone on to be very, very good and running in the Preakness next week. Also, uh, the allowance race last time out, pretty good effort as well. Defeated Demolition Duke, another horse that's not too bad for Brad Cox. So two for two, two nice wins. Um, I don't think we've seen the best of him yet. I, I From what we've heard kind of the the rumblings, rumors, whatever you want to call it. This was like the big Brad Cox horse. Um, and he's been good. He's been really good. Two races in a row, uh, solid, but not anything that like visually is just going to go, whoa, this is, this is like an, an amazing horse or anything. I think he's a little green still. I don't think he's quite got it all figured out yet. I think he'll start to figure it out as he races more and more. So I'm going Bishop's Bay. I think he'll be very tough here. I like this horse a lot. I'm seeing, or hoping, I should say, for big things in the future from him. Number five, Classic Catch is who I'll put in second. You know, this Todd Pletcher horse has kind of been hit or miss at times. Um, pretty good maiden win in his second start at this distance. He's cut back to an, uh, to an allowance at Tampa and got third. Uh, went back to a mile and an eighth. Uh, two races back at Gulfstream Park. Won an allowance. Looked better. And then a mile and eighth race last time out in the Wood Memorial. Got fifth. He really just didn't get out of the gate very well, got way too far behind. I think with a little bit better positioning in this race, he's going to have a better shot to get it done. I think he makes a lot of sense. So I've got uh, number five, Classic Catch, there in second. Then finally in third to round this thing out, I went with number eight, Henry Q. You know, this Doug O'Neill trained horse really, like, killed him at Sunland two races back, for lack of a better term in the mind, that bird stakes, uh, and, and was running for Todd Finchner, for these races at Sunland after after being trained by O'Neill, then went to the Sunland Derby, kind of chased a really, really hot pace and just kind of faded. Now, back with Doug O'Neill, we show up in this spot. Frankie DeTori gets aboard. I thought the number eight Henry Q had a pretty good shot here um, at what I'm suspecting to be a halfway decent price. Odds are not out yet as uh, I'm recording this video, but he'll be the third or fourth choice, I would imagine. So number eight Henry Q, Give you a little bit of value play there. All right, let's re recap it here. Number nine, Bishop's Bay, going to be on top for me. Number five, Classic Catch in second. And number eight, Henry Q in third. All right, guys, thanks everybody for watching this video. Hit that like button if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you really like it. We're over 12,000 subscribers. Want to keep that going on. So if you like our content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And always, most importantly, good luck for playing Belmont Park this Saturday. RacingDudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race, every track across the country. The Triple Crown is in full swing, and we want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to Racing Dudes' YouTube channel, click the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.